Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an awesome Adeptus Titanicus Titan Maniple for you guys to check out today. Uh, really cool models, loads of intricate little details uh, and this project has been completed by Nick, one of the artists here in the team. Uh, if you're new to Siege YouTube channel then Siege Studios is a full service commission painting studio located in the UK. Uh, our team of 28 painters all paint from an above tabletop level as a minimum all the way up to competition quality. Uh, so if you are interested in a commission with us then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. Go onto the contact form, which is there. Select the relevant drop downs options that are for you. Drop us a message and a model list in our format and fire that off to get a quote back from us and the process started. I do hope we can work on a project for you. Let's dive in on this awesome project. I'll see you guys back in a sec. And we're going to look at these mass models in more detail. See you guys in a sec. So we have a great Legio Mortis Titan Maniple here for Adeptus Titanicus to have a look at. And uh, there are five great Titans uh, all in this force. Uh, Nick, who's the artist who's working out an absolute blast working on these awesome, uh, very detailed models, actually, even though they're, uh, the scale of what they are is quite small uh, for miniatures. Uh, they are very, very, very detailed. We'll work our way up through the sizes of Titan, I think, and we'll start by looking at the two Warhounds. Again, a lovely, lovely model. Uh, really, really cool. You can see the lenses and everything on the uh, command cockpit all done there. This one's bounding forward, obviously, with uh, the dual weapons, obviously, you've got to bring into bear, which is nice. Really cool at Legio Mortis scheme. Obviously, the red, the black, and the, all the white accents as well. Um, all painted to our above tabletop bronze level, which is really, really cool and clean. Super pristine finish. Just, you know, really nicely well painted uh, above tabletop finish uh, so that's just this first wall hand now they all are all magnetized uh, there are absolutely loads and loads of additional weapons that we have for these wall hands that are all painted to my left um, and uh, they're all magnetized just to show you so you can easily just switch them out and put them back on uh, and obviously tailor your list to suit and crush your foes. Uh, so that's the first Warhound. Uh, we have obviously the second here, and it's exactly the same in the sense of it's uh, it's magnetized and everything, so all the weapons you can fully change them. But again, uh, this one's obviously just got a red carapace on the command deck just to uh, distinguish it for the player on the tabletop. Again, moving around, a lovely, super clean finish just on these, very, very neatly painted uh, and all highlighted on all the armor panels and areas of uh, detail work as well, uh, with the lenses and everything there picked out in a lovely complementary green so that's just uh the other warhound here we'll now move up to the uh the reaver class uh again a really cool titan this one's got all the melter as you can see uh but a really really lovely finish so again with a white command deck on this one and all the lenses there picked out in the carapace again you've got obviously little bits of wear done onto the armor panels as well as per our client requests because you didn't want them to look pristine so a little bit of weathering and scratching done to them uh, and one thing obviously you have to be careful with scale when doing it on the models purely because obviously these are ginormous titans uh, if you do massive, huge, huge chips, it does look um, like, you know, they've got a football field on them in, of damage. Um, so that's just this, uh, this other reaver. And again, they are all fully, fully magnetized. So the guns all turn and move. OK, so they can be just shifted about. And this top one does. There we go. It just comes off uh, and obviously can be changed for the uh, missile pod if need be. So that's just this reaver. Um, we'll have a look at the next one. Again, same, again, consistency and attention to detail, slight damage on the carapace and also other areas like the knees and things. Uh, again, these are all magged, as I mentioned, uh, just to move around. But again, and just in case you're wondering, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the bases aren't done on these purely as our client wishes to base them himself. So that's perfectly fine. Just saying you something you can do with us here at Siege. If you just want us to paint the models, we will do that. Uh, obviously, if you want us to base them, we will do that as well. But uh, our client has got a basing scheme which he wishes to continue through his force, and these are in addition to. So that's these. Um, and then let's have the almighty warlord himself now the warlord has got a substantial amount of weapons um our client has got a lot of the forge world new weapons and i believe this head is obviously also different as well you've got obviously all of the different uh, arm options as well for for these but everything is fully magnetized so they do all come off and you can literally just tailor the uh, the weapons load out on your warlord to suit uh love these uh, chevrons on the legs again these are all free-handed on the model they're not you're done using an airbrush it's all done using uh, using a brush uh, and then moving around all that lovely gold trim on him neatly and clean Cleanly painted on the edges, edge highlighted as well to give that finish with some additional weather and damaging done to the model in various places as well. So that's just the Warlord, an awesome, awesome, imposing model. Uh, I particularly like the copper on these stacks at the back. It's a very muted and darker copper, which is lovely. And that same copper has been done on like, the coils on these plasmas as well, which is really nice uh, again. But we'll just have a look at some of the other weapon systems that uh, our client has actually got. Um, just because I haven't shown those, and there's another magnet, that's magnetizing there. You've got the claw here, 
really really cool a bit of kit uh just goes straight onto the arm of the warlord and makes him look very menacing in close combat so that's just him with those weapons those barrels you can see the uh huge huge cannons on there as well just also done so that's just one of the arms uh, i've got another one of these i can't remember the name of it so if you know the name of it please do put it in the comments um but we've got every weapon option available for this ward uh, magnetized for our client. Again, another one of those plasmas here. Uh, absolutely devastating weaponry, really, really lovely painted. Uh, but there are a whole host of arms to go on the warlord. Uh, we're going to be back in a second to have a look at these models in more detail. Uh, just go through it a little bit quickly. And also, if you are interested in the commission, then stick around because we can tell you how to get one of those with us. See you guys in the next section. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you like these awesome Adeptus Titanicus Titans in this brilliant Legio Mortis colour scheme. I know Nick had an absolute pleasure working on them. So if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios, either for Adeptus Titanicus, Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigmar, any of those game formats or any other model system, then do not hesitate in dropping us an email through the contact form link in the description of this video. It takes you directly to our website's contact form. You can select the drop down options that are relevant for you drop a message to us, including a model list in our format, which is shown how to do that on the contact form. Fire that off to get a quote from us and also get the process started. I do hope we can work on a project for you. Uh, while you're here on YouTube, a couple of things you can do to help us out. Obviously, give the video a thumbs up because that really helps if you like what you see. Uh, secondly, make sure you subscribe because then you'll see all of our videos as and when they come up on your feed. And if you do want to know exactly when we upload, hit that bell icon and you will be notified when you, we put an upload up. Finally, we have obviously Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. So if you want to go give us a follow on any one of those, like or follow, should I say, give us a like or follow on one of those. We'll, you can keep up to all of the things that go on are here at Siege on those platforms. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys, so thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.